So you're wondering, what is the best tracking option for a live 2D VTuber in 2023? Well, look no further. In today's video, we're going to be going through all of the different options that you have in VTube Studio right now. So stick around and let's find out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to compare these four main tracking options and we're going to be comparing them based on tracking quality, price, and how accessible they are. So here we are with the first tracking option, and this is actually the cheapest one. This is just a base webcam tracking. This is done directly through VTube Studio using just a webcam. Any HD webcam will get similar results to this. I am personally using a Brio 4K Stream Edition webcam. So first things first, let's have a quick look at the tracking quality of the webcam tracking. The first thing I notice is my mouth is very responsive. Now, this can be tweaked with your parameter settings. I think this is a pretty nice detail to have. You can really flesh out your mouth shapes and it tracks it really easily. So you can see how I'm talking and the mouth is constantly moving. In terms of face angles, with the settings I have, it's pretty responsive. However, you'll generally find that with webcam tracking, there is a general stiffness to all of your movements. Especially when compared to the higher tiers of tracking. Let's give the eyes a quick little test. So let's do a wink test. It does wink and we need to see how easy it is to control the eyes on our model as well. It is struggling a little bit, however, it's not the end of the world in terms of tracking quality. Let's go ahead and perform the glasses test. All right, so glasses on. Let's see how this performs. But obviously the number one thing with tracking is to make sure you're in a well-lit area. Surprisingly, it is doing pretty well when it comes to blinking. However, it is a lot more hard to wink now and significantly harder to keep my eyes at a squint. Next up, we have RTX tracking. Now this one is actually a newer feature in VTube Studio and requires an RTX series graphics card. Now this will push up the price point for this particular tracking level. However, if you do have a more recent gaming PC, then this might be an easier option for you for better tracking over the standard webcam. You can see that it's projecting my face a little bit better compared to the webcam, as you can see from this horrifying image on the left here. But let's see how it tests up. So let's go ahead and give this the quick test through. The mouth is moving perfectly fine. We also have an extra option with the RTX as well, because this one can actually track mouth X. That's right, we've got a little bit more movement on this one. In terms of the face angles and other bits, let's give this a go. It feels a lot more dynamic and a lot more smooth in terms of the head turns compared to the base webcam. And the eyes are tracking as expected. There is a little bit of delay to them at some points and the eyebrows are tracking a lot better compared to the webcam. Let's go ahead and give this the old glasses test. All right, glasses equipped. How does it weigh up? From what I can see, the RTX tracking actually performs better than the webcam, especially if you are a glasses user. It's still not quite perfect. There's parts where it's making my eyes go a little bit funky when I'm looking in specific directions, especially with the glasses on. So our next tracking method is the one and only iPhone tracking. This uses the VTube Studio app on my phone and connects to the VTube Studio app on the PC. Now this is one of the pricier options as it does require a iOS device with a true depth camera. So that's generally iPhone X or above However, I will provide a link down below with the full list of Apple devices that you can use for this type of tracking. Let's go ahead and do our tracking test. So 
we've obviously been talking for a little while but how does it match up so you might notice that this is a lot smoother compared to the webcam options that is because the iPhone has better capability of mapping our face and you might notice that it's finding it easier to track things such as my eyes like when my eyes widen like this the mouth X is a lot smoother and in general I find my eyebrows track a lot better with the iOS all right glasses on let's give this a go move my eyes around you can see that the iOS handled glasses uses a lot better than webcam my eyes are basically moving the same way they were with the glasses off I can lure my eyes a lot easier and winking is no issue either but wait what if I told you there was an even better option for tracking. That's right, the coup de grace of tracking. It's V1, V only. It is VBridger. If you don't know what this program is, it is a plugin that goes alongside of VTube Studio and allows for a lot better control over your tracking. How does it do this, you might ask? It allows for better use of your iPhone's true depth camera to basically translate all of those extra blend shapes that you sometimes see on 3D models onto your live 2D model. Unique tracking parameters such as a more complex mouth with funnel and press as well as puckering as well as better control over your eyes such as squinting. So let's go ahead and give this one a test run too. We have our mouth Obviously, there is a lot more that you can do with your VBridger mouth compared to any of the other tracking options. Such as chewing, as well as our face angles. And our blinking and eye movements. Overall, VBridger feels the most fluid out of all of the tracking options that I've tried. So, glasses on. Let's give this a quick go. So, VBridger handles glasses the best. However, it's not too much of a step up from base iOS tracking. So, in general, iOS is better when it comes to glasses users. However, the RTX tracking was close. Let's go ahead and have a quick overview of all four tracking types and how they match up. Let's also do a quick little price comparison between all four tracking options. Let's pop them up on screen right here, here, here and here. And you can see that there's a bit of a price disparity between all four options. What really matters is what's going to work for you within your budget. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel with that big old bell notification on to be notified of our future uploads related to live 2D and VTubing. And if you were interested in getting into live 2D for the very first time, please check out this video right over here to get started. See you next time. Bye-bye.